So I want to talk a little about the mariachi. First, what we wear, right? We have our charro boots, the pants with the silver adornments. Today we have little horses, the vest, and of course the chamarra, the jacket with the matching adornments of the pants. And of course, we cannot forget the classic moño that in our case has our name and our 25th anniversary, which was a couple years ago. Now, I want to talk to you about all the instruments that we have in the mariachi, starting off with this one. Who knows what this is? A violin. Do you know how many strings a violin has? It has four strings, and we use this bow to go across the strings to make some sound. So I want to give myself, and then I want to go down the line, a little test. Let's see if I can play something kind of slow romantic for you. Did you recognize that song? What is it called? That's right. Remember me from the movie Coco. Now, let's see if I can play you something a little more upbeat for you. And can you name that tune? Did you recognize that tune? It's a small world. That's right. The next test I want to give myself is, can I make an animal sound with my violin? Let's see if you can guess it. Do you have any guess of what animal that was? It was a donkey. How do you say donkey in Espanol? Burro. Very good. So next we have the trompeta. The trompeta is made out of metal, and you have to buzz your lips to make the sound. So I'm going to give our trompetista the same test if he can play something slow, romantic, and then something upbeat. Did you recognize that song? That's right. It's from the movie Beauty and the Beast. The name of the song is A Tale of All This Time. Now, let's see if he can play something upbeat and movable. Did you recognize that song? Star Wars. Very good. That always gets guessed. Now, the next instrument is our, the only instruments that are born and raised in Mexico. We have el guitarrón. The guitarrón is our bass instrument. If you notice, it has a big panza, the back of the guitarrón, which gives it that big sound. It's a six-string guitarrón bass, and it sounds like this. Nice, right? Now, next to the guitarron, we have the vihuela. The vihuela is the guitarron's little brother. It has the same shape, but obviously a lot smaller, has a rounded back. And this is our rhythm instrument that we tune to and we use for rhythm. Let's hear how it sounds. Next to the guitar, to the vihuela, is the guitar. It's a classical guitar. You've probably seen one before. And we use it for rhythm also. And all together, the guitarron, vihuela, and guitar make the armonia section of a mariachi, which sounds like this. Now, the last thing I need to demonstrate for you is something very important that we do in Mexico and in mariachi. It's called el grito. What grito means is like a scream. But in mariachi, when we hear something that we like or someone did a good solo, we give a grito, meaning, hey, that was a good. I enjoyed that. So well, I'm going to demonstrate for you the grito, and then I want you guys to do the same. All right, here we go. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Can you all try it? Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Very good, everybody. 